Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Monday. All right guys, so as I told you before in the last previous post, I can't do hot messy topics today from where I'm at. I'm at my uncle's house and if you guys hear, hear the clock go off, um, it's just like the church bells ringing. But I wanted to come back and talk about Mauricio Umansky. Guys, this is the week of BravoCon. We have so much going on. It's so weird because I'm spending an entire week away from Jason until we go to BravoCon. I had to move my stuff around for dental reasons, and it's just been like a literal scheduling nightmare, but I am so grateful for everybody who's helped make this a lot easier, and I am so grateful for all of you guys and 200,000 subscribers. So we have a lot to celebrate, and I can't wait to meet whoever's going to be there at BravoCon. Now with that, we're back to talk about Mauricio, so let's get into it. All right, guys, so we're going to talk about Mauricio Umansky really quick because this one, mm -mm, mm -mm. so Real Housewives, um, it's just right now, I feel like the Real Housewives were going to get a lot of drama because BravoCon's coming, and I think that they unleashed so many different franchises at the same time. It's going to be dramatic, but Reality Blurb is covering this and saying the judge is blasting Mauricio Umansky over a $32 million real estate scheme as alleged texts about the transaction is revealed amid claims that the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star is lucky to be alive after a shady deal. Oof. Okay. I don't know what the we're getting into. Mauricio Umansky may be seeing success in the ballroom with Dancing with the Stars partner and rumored flame Emma Slater, but off screen he's entangled in illegal drama. Amid his separation from estranged wife Kyle Richards, the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star, who also appears on Netflix's Buying Beverly Hills, has found himself getting reprimanded by a judge as he attempts to evade punishment over the sale of a $32 million mansion, which previously belonged to the son of a vicious African dictator. As Real Housewives of Beverly Hills fans may recall, Mauricio was sued for $35 million Oof. in 2019 over the sale of a home after it was alleged that he and his business partner, Mauricio Oberfeld, ignored offers from potential sellers, including a $40 million bid in an effort to obtain the property for themselves and later sold it for a massive $37 million. Prior to the sale, Mauricio had been contracted by the federal government to sell the seized home of Teodoro I don't want to butcher this name. The son of the president of Equatorial Guinea, who is known as the torturer in chief after he was accused of stealing government money. Um, this is some Netflix movie shit, not some buying Beverly Hills shit. After being prosecuted, Teodoro agreed to sell the home and use 10 million of the profit to pay a Justice Department fine and donate the remaining funds to charitable organizations in his home country. After Mauricio came on as a realtor and allegedly failed to present all offers, RadarOnline.com revealed on October 4th that the reality star was playing with fire as Teodoro's father, Teodoro, also the same name, 81, allegedly eats the testicles of his enemies after skinning them alive. No, man. I don't like toxic subscribers who are going to come on here and be like, Adam. Your missus, she's too big now. She's too thin. Like, and like the net, I, I don't know if you guys got the Britney reference. Sorry. Sometimes I, I've had four shots of espresso and no food. But like, no, that's skinning them alive. And then you eat the testicles of your enemies. You're weird. And I don't like the word weird. Just like I don't like the word stupid. I think it's a mean word. But you, my friend. This is a no, no ma'am. Get a coupon. Get some pasta, ramen noodles, not enemies' testicles. No. Okay. Oh, God, that makes me want to vomit. The outlet went on to say that he's ruled since 1979 and established a much feared reputation for banishing his opponents and noted a report from the UK's Mirror which said, the dictator believes eating testicles of his enemies will enhance his sexual prowess as he supposedly eats his victims' brains. Ugh. Oh my God. 
According to the report, private text messages that realtor Atan Sigal sent to the prospective mansion buyer, Sam Hakim, in 2017, after Mauricio and his partner sold the home for profit, proved their alleged scam. We could have flipped it for 20 more without even a facelift. That's what the guy said, Atan, told Sam in a 2017 text. If the seller thought that Mauricio was truly helping them as their agent, I do not find that to be a wise choice. The seller is not kosher, and Mo Mauricio could be playing with fire. Top 10 most dangerous people in the world. Now, although Mauricio has attempted to have the case thrown out, stating that the statute of limitation to file the claim expired, the plaintiffs insisted their text messages prove his guilt. Meanwhile, another report from RadarOnline.com on t- October 20th shared that the Los Angeles Superior Court Judge Mark H. Epstein was not happy with Mauricio at a recent court hearing after he was allegedly caught making dishonest claims. Amid the hearing, Mauricio told the judge that his text messages disappeared when he got a new phone, as Sam said their text chats didn't exist. Then the co-plaintiff turned over the missing messages. First of all, okay, as somebody who, no man. What the fuck is that? It's your text messages disappeared. All you have to do, you can get text messages on anybody. All you have to do is call in. Hi, Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, Cricket. I don't give a shit. All you have to do is call in and be like, what is the password and username to my account? I am going to um, need a list of all of my text messages from October 24th, 2022 to October 24th, 2023. A list of all of them specifically from this number. Thank you. Not that hard. So in response, the judge said that there would be hell to pay if they continued the gamesmanship. Given the fact each party has now made representations to the court that the court has found to be misleading and potentially deliberately so, the parties might want to think a long time before bringing more discovery motions. That's what the judge stated. Rather, they ought to just obey the statutes regarding discovery and turn over the information as the law requires. The rule they ought to follow is that if they are thinking about whether they need to turn it over, they do. The court is tired of what appears to be gamesmanship by both sides. In addition to wanting the suit thrown out, Mauricio is also requesting that Sam be hit with a $1.2 million fine for wasting his time. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Somebody's going to be eating somebody's testicles. Meanwhile, as the judge held off making any moves, Mauricio was told to turn over the forensic report that verifies the alleged disappearance of his text. Mauricio obviously cannot produce that, which is no longer in his possession, custody, or control. And that's where we have a problem. Guys, this man makes his opponents disappear. And then he eats your testicles. So it gives him supreme sexual prowess. He's known as one of the 10 most dangerous men in the world. What is that song? I don't with you. That's you. No, thank you. I want out of this one. I don't want to be associated with somebody who might eat my brains or your things. I want to know, though, however, what you guys think about this. I know you guys aren't going to hold back. Go ahead, smash that like button, show some love, and let me know what you think. I love you guys. I'm going to post this in the community tab, too, in the polls. I need to get some, I need some insight. And I'll see you guys so very soon. So with that, I hope you have a beautiful Monday. Get ready. We are Bravo conning the hell out of this week, and it's going to be a fun one. And I'll see you then. Love you guys. Oh, no clock went off too, by the way. I forgot about that. Bye.